Do you currently use BotPress for lead generation? If so, I bet you wouldn't want the customer to type in the wrong email and still have it sent to the CRM. This is where email validation kicks in with regex code. So let me show you what I've done here with this bot. It starts off by asking you for an email. So let's give it an invalid email and see what happens. As you can see, the email validation kicks in. It says invalid email, please try again. So let's try a valid email this time. And it'll complete successfully and it'll go through to the next process. Now I will go step by step with you and show you how I've created this bot. So let's start. First off, let's create the variables needed. First email. It's going to be a string and a variable, which will be a Boolean variable that contain, contains true or false. Let's call it valid email. Once we have those two variables, we can create the first node and the first card will be a capture card. It will be an email address containing the email variable. So let's ask for the email. The next card will be an execute code card. And here we will contain some code, which I will paste down in the comments. So here we contain the regex code will be used to test the email. And if this returns true, it'll be stored inside the valid email variable. And if false, it'll also be contained there. And I'll show you why this will be necessary for the next step. So next card will be expression. And here simply we could just say, we can use the code generator, just put in if valid email is false. All right, so if the, if the email is not valid, we want to basically run this again. And instead of saying this, we will say invalid email, try again. And it'll store, it'll be stored in the email variable, of course. And we can also just copy this code once again. So it runs in the second node and we copy the third card, do the same thing. Now, if the valid is, if the email is invalid the second time, it'll return to the same node and it'll loop over and over until the email is valid. So when the email variable is finally valid, we can add another expression, type in always. And now we can send it every anywhere. So let's just end the operation here. By the way, let's not forget to add an expression here containing always. Just in case the first time the email is valid, it'll just go on to the next operation. All right, so let's start this bot. Type in a wrong email to test it. Invalid email, try again. Let's try uh, an actual email. And it'll end the operation correctly. By the way, if you would like to go deeper into regex code, you could ask ChatGPT for the regex code for email, phone, home address, social security, anything you would like. So it's as easy as that. So that's pretty much all for this video. And before I go, I would like to mention that soon enough, I will start going over more complex chatbots. So here's an example of a chatbot that me and my team sold to a CrossFit business. It has over 60 cards. So if that interests you and you found value in this video, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching.